everyone and welcome back to my monthly Q&A plus updates video. I know it's been a long time since I've done one of these but for various reasons I just kind of quit doing them for a little while and I'm going to do them a little less than I was before. But I just thought I would film outside today. It's a nice day. It's not too hot. It's not raining yet and it's just kind of like this overcasty day and I just thought it was really nice outside so I've never filmed outside before and I just thought I'd try it. Also you guys may have noticed in my last few videos I've been a little raspy and sniffly and I've been sick and I don't really know why. I think it's just like maybe going, my house is like super cold and just going from like the super heat outside to the super cold house, I don't know. Um, I spent a month away from home and I was always sick there and I didn't really know why so I don't know what's going on but hopefully I will be back to 100% soon. So yeah, as we've always done in the past, just post your questions for the month of August in the comments below and you can also post them on Instagram if you feel more comfortable with that platform. I'll post a picture um, on Instagram that just says ask me, ask me anything and post your questions there or here, whichever you feel more comfortable with. Also, I've considered maybe taking my Q&As to Twitter as well, so let me know if you'd be interested in asking on Twitter rather than here on Instagram. So I guess on into the updates like we used to do. Uh, the biggest update is that my boyfriend, Zach, is now living with me. We now live together in the house I've always lived, well, not always, but in the house I've lived in for the last almost year. That's going well. I really like living with him. He works a lot. So if we didn't live together, we probably wouldn't see each other very much, but as it is, we get to see each other every night, which is really nice. We spend a lot of time together, we do a lot of really fun things, probably our biggest like go-to, not really date night, but you know, like hangout thing is we go play Pokemon Go downtown, and that's a lot of fun. We also, we just love being outside, so we do as much as we can together, and we also really love getting tattooed together too, so that's a lot of fun. Um, he will be in another video soon, I promise. We're gonna maybe do a boyfriend tag if you guys would be interested in that. I know that tag is kind of played out and old, but that's all I can think of that's like, you know, like a video that you would do together. So I don't know, we'll probably end up doing a house tour soon. I know I promised you guys that like almost a year ago when I moved in here. I can't believe it's been almost a year since I moved in this house. But things just never really got, like, I never really got fully moved in, it seemed like everything is still like sitting around in boxes, not everything, but like some things are still like sitting around in boxes and I just like don't have a place for all my stuff really here. But since he's moved in that's kind of changed because he's like, well I have to have a place for all of my stuff obviously. So that's kind of changed some, so I'll probably, maybe he and I will get together and do a house tour, I don't know. I don't know, we'll just see. But yeah, he thinks YouTube's really cool, he thinks it's cool that I do YouTube and he's excited to meet all of you guys and um, he just loves being on camera with me, believe it or not. I thought he would be really shy about it, but so that's probably my biggest update is that he now lives with me and a lot of people are probably like, oh my god, that's really soon. You guys have only been together a few months, but circumstances just kind of lended themselves to him moving in with me. It was just with his wreck and everything. It was just easier. I don't know. I don't really want to go into a lot of detail just for like his personal privacy sake, but yeah, it just, it really worked out and it's been really good and yeah, we'll just see where things go. So another big update is that I start school back in about three weeks. I think August 29th is our first day back. So end of this month, I start school back and this will be my last year of my master's and really my last semester of classes. Um, in the spring, I will have like one online class and then I'll have my graduate performance recital in piano, which is a big deal and a lot of work. But really this is my last semester of like actual, actually going to class and stuff like that for my master's. So that also means that auditions are coming up soon and just like a few months that I have to start applying for doctoral programs and things like that. So it's going to be a pretty, a pretty hectic semester but I'm hoping to keep up with my two videos a week like I've been doing the last couple weeks and like I was doing before. Um, I really want to stay connected with you guys as much as I can because honestly like your all support helps me through even when I'm having like a really bad day like in my program or whatever I can just like sometimes get on YouTube hopefully it's positive comments usually it is and I just like I don't know I just really like talking to you guys so I'm really hoping to stay active even though I'm gonna be super busy I'm hoping to stay just as active as I have been with my videos and all of that. Also another update that a couple of you guys have been like, oh I love your hair. Yeah, I used to be blonde. I was blonde for, I don't know, not quite a year, maybe like nine months or so. And when summer rolled around, I started playing with some fashion colors. You guys know that. You 
saw me. I first did like pink myself, then I did purple myself. I don't know if that if I ever had that on YouTube um, because it washed out in like a few days. And I don't know if I like did a video while I while I had my like purple and pink underneath. But I know I posted it on I think Twitter, maybe Instagram. But then after that washed out, one of my friends did like a bunch of colors under my hair. And that was cool. And then we ended up dyeing my whole head teal, which that was only in one video because that was when I was like gone for a month. But when that started to grow out um, even more, I had like this much root growing, like two or three inches. And I think if it had been down further in my head, I would have liked it. You know, like an ombre that started maybe even like here and just went on down. I don't know. But it just looked really awkward. And I felt kind of, I don't know, I'm not the type of person that likes a lot of attention drawn to me, really. Um, you might think that's weird because like, oh, you have your septum and now I have crazy colored hair and I have a lot of tattoos on my legs and stuff like that, but I just don't really like a lot of attention, you know? And like, I mean, you seem really hypocritical because like I'm on YouTube, but in real life, I don't like people to be like, oh, blah, 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 there's a girl with the blue hair. So it was kind of cool with the program I was at because I was around like a bunch of artists, like hundreds of artists. And I wasn't really like out in the mainstream public, I guess, but I still felt really weird having all that attention on me all the time just because of my hair. So, and, and also I had the root thing going on, so I was just like, I'm going to go back brunette. That's my um, natural color. Well, it's this is darker than my natural, but I just wanted to cover all of that. So we um, like kind of soap capped the teal out and then dyed a really dark brown over it. Just did it in my dorm room. Um, wouldn't recommend that. I would definitely recommend a professional doing it, but we did have like semi-professional products. We went to Sally and got some Ion products, but anyway, so now I just have this um, like teal kind of like streaks underneath, and if I part my hair in the middle, I can kind of like tuck these behind my ears and you don't even really see them. So I like that better because it's a fun pop of color, but I can still be kind of professional at the same time. Um, but I'm thinking of cutting my hair to maybe about my shoulder, like right here. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm, I'm kind of over having the long hair at this point in my life. I mean, you can see it. This is, I haven't done anything to my hair today. I just literally woke up and brushed it after I showered last night, but it's like kind of getting dead on the ends. And I don't know. I'm just over like, obviously summer's almost over, but having long hair this summer has been like, ugh, so hot. And I just think the older I get, I'm having more responsibilities. You know, I'm working a lot more. And I just think that having hair off of my neck and my shoulders would help. So I don't know, I'm thinking like right here. I don't know. I feel like that, I've had my hair that short before and it was just too short for me. And I feel like just cutting off a few inches just gives me that awkward like in between haircut. So I'm thinking like right about like at my collarbone maybe, something like that. Um, and if I did that, I'd probably change up the color some. I don't know, maybe do like it on the tips or something. I don't know, I'm just thinking. So let me know what you think about that. Um, yeah, I think that's about all of the updates for now. I feel like I've had quite a lot because I haven't been as active on YouTube this summer as I wanted to be, but that's just the way it goes, I guess. So leave your questions in the comments below for the month of August. Back to the Q&A thing. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.